The HB Project and the HB Channel are supported by Hi-Fi Clubben. That sound kills good music. Let's make a lot of noise against loudness war. There has been a loudness war for a long time now. The goal is to have your track sound louder than the rest, for those that shout the loudest will be bored. It's what the food industry has done for just as long or even longer. Make sure that sugar, salt and fat are the reasons you buy their food and drinks. With obese as the nasty buy effect. In the music industry, reducing the dynamic range and accentuating mid bass are the tricks and hearing damage the byproduct. If the brain is not pleased by lots of detailed information that can only be reproduced by a proper stereo, the only other way of enjoying music is at live concerts and at festivals where, again, the sound pressure level is so high that most visitors will wear hearing protection. It's like buying pills that make you vomit prior to visiting a fast food restaurant. Yes, I know, my generation made a mess of it too and mostly survived. If you manage to pass your 27th year, you're ok. But I have a uniquely new concept that has never been done before. Why not learn from our mistakes and those of our parents? I gave my children Ellison earplugs even before I told them where we kept the preservatives they were free to take any time. And of course they were confront confronted with proper stereos over time. The problem is that it would be wrong to use Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young or my beloved Pentangle to teach them how good sound sounds. And the music that is produced for today's youngsters has the dynamics completely squeezed out of it. You as my viewer won't be pleased with that. There still is fantastic music made today and it causes all your bees hearing loss with youngsters. Mastering engineer Bob Katz, together with his colleague Ian Shepard and sound engineer Matt Mayfield, Elko Grimm of Grimm Audio and many others wrote the AES technical document 1004.1.15-10, Recommendations for Loudness of Audio Streaming and Network Playback. Now that streaming is rapidly replacing listening to music over the radio, the idiotic radio processing can be omitted. And streaming services might be willing to listen to the market far better than radio stations since they depend on subscribers rather than on advertisers and DJs. Therefore I have made this loudness war playlist that points to opinions of many professionals in the industry that want to reverse this war and go for quality. But even more important is the link to the petition this group of people have initiated. You'll find it below this video on YouTube and when you are there watch this playlist, form your opinion and if you agree sign the petition. I will keep tracking the initiative and update the playlist when appropriate. So if you want to stay informed follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there, but please view my questions video first. The link is in the top right corner. You find more information below this video on YouTube and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or in the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy your music.